I still got sick, okay? Whatever this is, it's going around. Take care of yourself. Look, all right, y'all. Hey, everybody, welcome back to my channel. But wait a minute, before you guys start wondering what's wrong with my voice, let me tell you, I am back, yes, in full effect, you know. Yes, I gotta get back into that mode of recording. But you all know, if you do follow me on Instagram, that I was over in Greece. I had an amazing time. I spent 11 or 12 days over in Greece and it was absolutely amazing. We went from Santorini to Athens for one day, then to Mykonos, Santorini for four, Athens for one, Mykonos for four, Creed for one, back to Santorini, and then uh, we had an amazing time. You guys, I have something super special for you. Um, while we were over in Crete, um, I was able to meet the perfumer, Theodore Scalatinis. He invited us into his lab. Y'all, it's like a whole story, okay? We were like delayed on an island because of a storm. So we missed a day. We missed our actual day that we were supposed to meet up with him, which was a Saturday, but he was so amazing. He opened the lab up for us on a Sunday and still did the tour, y'all. Like, He's amazing, y'all. So if you don't know who Theodorus Calatinis is, um, everyone knows him by the amazing fragrance Coffee Addict. You know, I did, I have four of his fragrances before I went over there, which is Plumeria Vanilla Coffee Addict. And then 1989, he's a baby, y'all. The year that he was born. Well, he's not a baby. He's a grown man that knows like how to run a business, okay? And he's an amazing perfumer. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to be doing a separate review on his house because I hauled a ton of fragrances while I was over there. Um, he gifted a couple, it's so generous, like super generous. Um, the fact that he bought us pastries and all that. Anyway, I'm gonna do a little video on the day that we had with him and that's gonna be separate and do a haul. Um, he's just amazing. So that was over in Crete and we gotta go back to Crete because I wanna spend at least two weeks or a week maybe seven days in Crete, just touring the islands because we were only over there for a day. And the beaches are stunning. They almost look like the beaches on the Amalfi Coast in Italy. And um, yeah, they're amazing. And in Capri, y'all, um, love, love, love the color of the water. The vibe over there was amazing. But anyway, um, we got to get into this fragrance haul today, y'all. I've been gone for a long time. Um, I haven't even gone back to work, you know, uh, I've been off from work for three days. So I've been back for about five, five days now, I think five or six days. Um, I've been down y'all in the bed. I was sick. I got sick. Thank God the day that I was leaving there, the our last day there, my throat felt a little scratchy. Um, and uh, of course that night in the airport, you know, I had to spend the night in the airport because it was a super long flight. They canceled my flight. Anyway, all that drama, I'll explain maybe when I do the Grease vlog. Uh, but yeah, I ended up getting sick and then when I came home, I was out, like in the bed for like, I've been home for six days now. Um, but I didn't go to work this week and I'm actually going back to work today. So I have a little more energy and we're gonna get into this haul because I have all these fragrances that I have to talk about. I'm gonna break this haul up into three. I'm going to do my Grease haul separate, which I've found several other Greek perfumers um, over in Greece on different islands. Um, Theodorus Kalatinis is the only Greek perfumer that still lives in Greece, which is amazing. You know, he loves the people, loves his culture, all that. Uh, but there are other three other Greek perfumers that I found that are based in London. And I think one is based in Turkey and um, yeah, a couple other places, but he's the only one. So we'll do the Greek haul separate. I'll do this haul and these are some fragrances that I found on my layover in Germany. I found some of these fragrances in Greece as well, but they're not Greek perfumers. They're people, um, they're regular perfumers that these fragrances are not in America yet, you know, but I found them over there. And these are just some random fragrances I hauled before I took the trip. Um, and then we're gonna also do a Theodore Scalatini's uh, separate review as well. So anyway, let's get into this fragrance haul. I'm so happy to be back. 
filming with you all. Like, I absolutely missed you. I really didn't do, I saw a couple of reviews while I was over in Greece. Excuse me if I do cough because my throat's a little dry. Um, but other than that, I really enjoyed my vacation. I slept, I relaxed. We were out all day running around. We had an amazing time. And y'all, I went with another perfumer. Her name is Farida. She's yellow since over on Instagram. We met over here. You know, I was planning a trip to Greece. Um, she said that uh, she wanted to come along. I was like, why not? You know, um, she's an amazing travel buddy and we had a, a great, great time. Um, so anyway, the very first fragrance we're going to get into. I've been wanting this fragrance for so long, y'all. But before, please follow me on Instagram. It's Marcmello. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Turn on those notification bells. My name is Marcy. I don't know if I introduced myself. To all of my new uh, subbies, I appreciate you all. And my day ones. Love you all as well. Um, yeah. Go over there. Follow me on Instagram. You know, uh, you can see all the travel stuff, everything over there ahead of time. And let's get into it. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not editing that out. But yeah, I'm not going to talk so fast. Um, I'll, I'll slow down. So, um... <coughs> The very first one, I should have got some water, but the very first one we're going to talk about is Magenta Tanzanite, y'all. I had been looking for this fragrance for so long. You all know that some people were able to find it over in the UK. Um, it's not in America at all. So I was able to find it when I went to Germany, y'all. And I'm going to go get some water. Y'all had to get some water because my throat's real dry. But I'm trying to give you the content, okay? And I really miss you all as well. So anyway, the very first fragrance we're going to talk about is um, a Magenta Tanzanite. And this is a fragrance that I found over in Germany while I was over on my layover, y'all. Um, long story about the airport, but we'll get into that later. I'm super, super excited that I found this. I actually smelled magenta tanzanite and the other one in the purple bottle. The other one, I forgot the name of it, in the purple bottle that's new as well. Um, that one's slightly masculine and it's a little too masculine for me. And um, it was really woody, kind of earthy. Um, so initially when I sprayed it upon first um, spray, I was like, no, no, no. But then the dry down, I was like, maybe. But if I don't love it upon first spray, um, then I'm not going to uh, purchase it. But anyway, absolutely love magenta tanzanite. It's a beautiful cardamom. You get the freshness from the bergamot, the cinnamon. Um, it's very creamy. There's a vanilla. It's a little woody, but it's a really spicy you get a really good cardamom in this fragrance and it's like an amazing fragrance. I sprayed this on uh, before I tested it, oh, when I tested it, as my scent of the day in the airport and I got like two compliments, one from the lady at the booth that was making me coffee and then um, another, actually three compliments, another compliment from a flight attendant when I got on the plane, this is when I tested it, I was like spraying it all over y'all and um, the other compliment came from just like some random person walking. They were like, you smell really good. And then I told them what I sprayed on, you know, duty free upstairs in H26. Okay, go get it. So anyway, Magenta Tanzanite, absolutely love this fragrance. Now, a lot of people I've heard, not a lot of people, I've heard one person say that it's given them vibes of Minwe Demi. I absolutely get that. It's a little spicy. It smells like there would be like some pimento in here as well. Um, you get that creaminess, the cardamom, slight spiciness. Um, I don't know where the spiciness is coming from. Actually, it's coming from the ginger. It's a tobacco in here as well, but it's not tobacco heavy. But you definitely get the cardamom, the ginger. Um, you get the vanilla. You get the a little bit of the spiciness, the bergamot, which makes it really bright. It's not citrusy, but I absolutely love this fragrance. The longevity on here is more than 24 hours y'all i sprayed it took me almost 24 hours to get home i still smelled it okay um still smelled it on my skin and on my clothes so this is some good stuff great performance um to me it's unisex but it slightly leans a little feminine because of the cardamom the sweetness of the cardamom and the vanilla in here and the creaminess of the fragrance as well super super creamy y'all uh but absolutely love it i'm so glad to have this and this is magenta tanzanite um yeah love it y'all and this is my armani Privé. this is gonna go right along with my ruby um not my ruby it's gonna go with my vert molecule 
um, and my uh, Rouge Malachite, y'all. My favorite fragrance from Armani. Now, which one do I still love the most? I still love Rouge Malachite. And then I would say Magenta Tanzanite. Then I love Blue Turquoise and then Vert Maliki, y'all. Um, so the next one we're going to get into is uh, a Merchant of Venice. Also found this one over in Germany. And this is Arabesque. This is a lovely, lovely tobacco, vanillic, cinnamon, spicy fragrance. Not too spicy, though. This is also creamy. It's woody. Um, you get that plum in here. This is a delicious plum fragrance. Um, I looked for this about a year ago. It was hard to find. Um, I think they were charging like some international fees and then I couldn't find it. It was on one site. Um, and then when I saw it over in the airport, they had a whole display of about uh, 10 or 15 of these fragrances. I got this at an amazing price. I think it was like 160 euros. I jumped on it, but it's not a heavy tobacco fragrance, just as in uh, Magenta Tanzanite, because I'm not a super heavy tobacco type um, note girl, you know, but I do love tobacco in fragrances like Side Effects. Um, I love Tobacco by Zaharoff, you know things like that, but this is gorgeous. It's plum, it's a little spicy, it's creamy. You get that cinnamon, it's woody, y'all. Uh, but I love it. Um, there's some vetiver in here as well, but it's not heavy. You get the benzoin, the musk, but it's you definitely get that plum. It's a really creamy, woody, spicy plum, y'all. Love this fragrance. Opening, dry down all of it, it lasts at least 12 hours, 12, 18 hours. Um, I sprayed it on my skin. I wore it overnight, woke up like the next day and a half, or not day and a half, the next like uh, eight to plus like four, six hours and it was still there. And this is Arabesque. Look at that bottle, stunning y'all. And this is by the Merchant of Venice. <clears throat> So the next one we're gonna go to is one that I was a little upset about, and I ordered this one from the Joma shop. But anyway, I wanted to get my nose on this fragrance because I heard it was a good gourmand. You guys know that I'm absolutely head over heels uh, for a great gourmand. Um, don't feel sorry for me and my voice, okay? I am doing so much better than I was before. So um, yeah, just sit back and relax and enjoy the fragrances, y'all. Forget about my voice, all right? Um, actually, it might be a little sexy, okay? Um, some people like deeper voices because my voice can be a little squeaky sometimes and annoying to me. But anyway, this is Rasala, y'all. Finally got it. I got it with a broken leaf, which I'm a little annoyed about because the leaf is supposed to sit here. Um, it almost looks like, you know, uh, you know, back in the day when they were writing with ink. But anyway, Rasala basically smells like um, oud bouquet with chocolate. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Yes. Um, when you guys cough also, um, I still see people coughing in their hands in public. You can easily lift up your shirt. You can cough in your shirt, cough in your sweatshirt, but do not cough on your hands. Okay. So anyway, Rosala basically literally smells like Oud Bouquet, Lancome's Oud Bouquet um, in chocolate. There's rose, there's woody notes, um, there's chocolate in here, um, there's vanilla, there's saffron. Yeah, I mean, I really like it, but it's almost redundant because I have Oud Bouquet. I also have Guerlain's, um, what is it, Guerlain Coquin with the rosy chocolate scent as well. It's not Oudy, but it's a little boozy. But this, um, it, yeah, Oud Bouquet with chocolate, basically, y'all. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep it because I do love the bottle and all of that, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. So the next one we're going to talk about is one that I accidentally ordered. Um, I thought I was ordering Mango Kiss, uh, but I was ordering the original. Um, and this is by the house of Stephanie, Stephane, sorry, not Stephanie, Stephane Humbert Lucas. And this is a uh, Soleil or Soleil de Jetta. And um, this is still beautiful though. I'm not disappointed. I was a little disappointed before I got the fragrance and I smelled it because I thought I was ordering Mango Kiss. I was going to initially order it at Harrods. Um, it was sold out. I was trying to get the 10% off. That didn't work, it was sold out. And then um, I ordered it from the actual site. Ordering from the site, there's no difference in the bottles. Um, so, which is really tricky. And I asked a couple people, I'm like, which one, why it doesn't say Mango Kiss. But anyway, they sent me a sample of Mango Kiss. 
Um, I'm actually glad I got the original, the big bottle of the original. Mango Kiss is still very nice. Um, it adds a little bit of powderiness, a little bit of mango to this beautiful bottle of sunshine, but it doesn't last very long. Um, the Mango Kiss, Sol de, Sol de Jetta Mango Kiss version. Let me shine up this bottle for y'all. The bottle is stunning. So when you initially spray this, this lasts for ages, for days, y'all, on your clothes. Um, when you spray this, I get a burst of lemon powderiness. Um, to me, I'm getting a smokiness from this. It almost smells like a like there's a tobacco in here as well, but it doesn't list tobacco, it just lists leather. So in here you have your chamomile, osmanthus to brighten it up. You have some lemon, iris, ambergris, earthy notes, some leather and vanilla. Now you do get the iris, the powderiness from the iris, especially in the opening, you know, you get the lemon, it's beautiful, but then it dries down and I don't really care too much for heavy leather fragrances, but I do love this one. I think that iris softens it up and the osmanthus softens it up. It makes the leather, it's like a really soft leather. It makes it a little brighter. And uh, that lemon in here and the osmanthus, it does wonders for this amazing fragrance, this amazing leather fragrance. But yeah, I absolutely love this. When I wear this, it smells like I'm in a nightclub, almost like a jazz club. That's the type feel that it's giving me. Um, I would say this is not a daytime fragrance, even though it has that brightness of the lemon and the osmanthus and the chamomile. Um, it has chamomile, but it's not like a, a tea chamomile. It's more like the chamomile flower because I don't care too much for like a tea chamomile and the fragrance, and I found that out when I bought that Gucci fragrance in the green bottle. It's a heavy chamomile, a really earthy chamomile, but this one is absolutely stunning. Like I said, the osmanthus, the lemon, and the iris brightens it up. You know what other fragrance I want from this house? It's called Is Isra and um, I think Majad, Isra and Majad or Mahad or something like that. That one is stunning. I think there's another one called Taklaman, Taklamana. That one is beautiful as well. Um, yeah, I really am ready to explore this house at a later date though, nothing soon because I got too much to talk about as it is. So the next one we're gonna talk about is one from the House of Unique, um, and this is Aphrodisiac Touch. Um, this is a really pretty fragrance, you know? Initially, you kind of get remnants a little bit, and I was gonna be a little disappointed. Let me drink some water, y'all. Excuse me. <clears throat> so, I was gonna be a little disappointed at first because I thought this was gonna smell like Killian's Love Don't Be Shy, um, AKA Istanbul by Unique, but it turned completely different. This is beautiful, y'all. And the dry down is even more beautiful. It's soft, it's powdery, it's rosy. You know, there's florals in here, but the powderiness in this fragrance makes it amazing. Um, in here, you have your saffron, lilac, you have some lily of the valley, cinnamon, cardamom, cloves, bergamot, rose, orris root, amber, and then you have some geranium. This is really pretty. This reminds me of like something that a bride would wear on her wedding day. This is a really, really beautiful fragrance and I absolutely love it. I think I would wear this one before I would pick up Istanbul. Like, yeah. And I don't even know about my Killian's Love Don't Be Shy because I have Istanbul. And I don't even know about like Istanbul because I have Sentra. <laughs> anyway, y'all, these fragrances are starting to become a little redundant and you don't wanna keep buying the same thing. But this one smells a little different, but it's slightly giving you that orange blossom, um, irisy, rosy scent of, of the Killian Love Don't Be Shy Extreme. But yeah, it's different, love it. Um, Unique Aphrodisiac Touch. So the next one we're gonna talk about needs no introduction. You already know it is, um, the bottle is a complete weapon, okay? <laughs> and um, 
This is no other than Mercurio Cashmere. I got this on sale for a super good deal. I think I got it for about $200. And um, it's a really pretty fragrance. I wasn't head over, I'm not still head over heels for it, but I do really love it. Um, I used it for layering a couple times that I did wear it. Um, I do get the tuberose in here and I love a good tuberose, a good creamy, powdery tuberose. Uh, what else is in here? You got your cardamom, iris, violet, of course, you get the caramel, the tonka, you know, it's really nice. Um, I see myself wearing this more in the uh, fall, winter, spring, maybe summer nights. Uh, but yeah, I really, really like Mercurio Cashmere. You really get that tonka and the caramel and the tuberose, but it's a really light tuberose fragrance. So if you don't like tuberose, this is very unisex as well. You know, the longevity on here is amazing. If you don't like tuberose, you might wanna try Mercurial Cashmere. And if you don't like tuberose, like I said before, you might wanna try uh, Nishane's 100 Silent Ways. They're both beautiful fragrances. All right, the next one we're gonna get into is one that I really, I wore just about every day over in Greece. And I got so many compliments, I put it in a, uh, a 10 or 8 ml decant before I went and I wore it almost every single day um, and this is when flowers by Cree y'all you know what got me to buy this fragrance um, <clears throat> let me drink some water okay <laughs> I got this cute little cup from Germany on my layover um, you know what got me to buy this fragrance I smelled this about I think three months ago when it initially came out, I was like, mm -mm, no, but then I ordered Eos, the peach and jasmine lotion, and I've been craving peach and jasmine. I went back to smell this and I said this in combination with my Eos lotion, and then I didn't give this fragrance a chance to dry down. Y'all, this is beauty. Oh, I absolutely love the scent of peach in here. There's jasmine in here. Um, there's a beautiful sandalwood. Um, there's it's it's like a light ambery note. There's some orris in here. Um, there's also some praline in here. Some orange blossom in here. Like I love this fragrance. I think if I and I'm not a super huge Creed fan. You all know that. Well, if you don't know now, you know. I do have a Ventus for her. I love it, but I also have Ball de Freak. You know. They're kind of on that same wavelength to me. They're both really nice fragrances, but it's not like, oh my gosh, let me go reach for that one. You know, but this one right here, the longevity is amazing. I was on, I was getting on the airplane, um, getting on the smaller plane from, I forgot, I was headed over to Greece initially. I had sprayed this on. It took me 17 hours to get there. I was two hours away from Greece. On the getting on the smaller plane, the lady was like, You smell really good. And we were outside, y'all. She said, You smell really, really good. Um, I was coming from Germany as well. Um, she said, What is that that you have on? I said, You smell me? I said, It's been like more than 15, 16 hours since I sprayed this fragrance on. Probably a little longer than that because I went to the airport three hours before. So, about 17 hours. This fragrance lasted on my skin and my clothes, and the lady still smelled it. Every, just about every day over in Greece, I got compliments on this fragrance. Um, it's amazing. If I ran out of this fragrance, I would definitely purchase it again. This is the only creed that I absolutely love, y'all, and this is called Wind Flowers. Enough talking about Wind Flowers. So the next one is one that I found over in Athens. Um, I also purchased a bottle over in Mykonos for a lovely young lady. Um, and But this one, and Mykonos had just opened their store, so they were super excited to, um, you know, have me as a customer coming all the way from America. So um, they gave a cute little bag as well. Uh, but anyway, this one, y'all, it is not in America yet, and I was so happy when I found it. I was like, hey, you know, jumping up and down. Um, I love my Tresors, La Nuit, the original. I have the Alafoli with the uh, vanilla in there. It's stunning. Love them both, and I love this one as well. This one, you still get that Tresor DNA. You know, it's the same, but you get a little bit of that cherry almond. Um, if you don't have any of the Tresors or if you don't have the original, I would say wait and purchase this one. It just gives a little more character to the fragrance, the cherry and the almond. Uh, but Alafoli is completely different. So I would get this 
and then I would get the a la folie, y'all. Uh, but this right here is stunning. Got so many compliments when I was over in Athens um, in the streets when I did spray this on. Because when I went into Sephora over in Athens, and I was only over in Athens for a day to see the Acropolis. Actually, not even a day, y'all. We took the plane over there, which was 20 minutes from Santorini, um, as opposed to a ferry which is six hours you know we just had a backpack and that was it we went over there for the day you know we got on the plane i think at like um six in the morning and then we stayed over there and then we got back on the plane at 11 o'clock at night and then we came back to santorini it was crazy but yeah you only need a day or two in athens y'all that's pretty much it and we saw the acropolis you know, after that, we were walking, saw Sephora, and that's when I found this baby right here. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, beautiful. Same tracer as the original, but add a little bit of almond and cherry to it. And it lasts for at least 10 hours, y'all. Got so many compliments. Amazing. So the next one we're going to talk about is Juicette. Um, and this is a special edition. It's a limited edition. And this is the same accident a la vanille, but it's almond cake. Now, I do love the opening of this fragrance because it smells like uh, maraschino cherries, I think it is, and almonds. There is Styrax, there's vanilla, there's almond, there's biscuit in here, but it doesn't have any cherries uh, note listed. But in the opening, you know, you get, you pretty much get like a vanilla cherry ice cream. Um, I don't know if you've eaten like that uh, Thrifties or that cheap vanilla cherry ice cream uh, with the maraschino or with the uh, jarred cherries inside. But that is exactly what this smells like. It's giving me a little bit of boozy vibes, but vanilla, you get that biscuit in here as well, or like a cookie type feel. Uh, but yeah, that is what I'm getting. But that cherry note, that biscuity note doesn't last. It dries down to like a a dry almond biscuity type scent. I'm not, and it almost turns into a skin scent, y'all. So I got it because I love Accident a la Vanille. Accident a la Vanille has the most amazing performance. Um, it's a great, great vanilla. It's, I think it's my second or third best vanilla out of all of the vanillas that I have. Go watch my vanilla video. Um, I'll try to link it down below. Um, but yeah, I love the opening on this, but it doesn't last very long. It lasts on my skin maybe two, three hours, and that is all. So I'm a little disappointed, but I love the opening. I really wish that it stayed. So the next one we're going to talk about is um, not very many more, but um, this is called Madison. Everybody knows this is a beautiful Fruity floral, some people say this is a uh, fruity floral, like a shypery, uh fragrance, and I love it, but you get a lot of fruits in here. Really bright, amazing for the summer. I wore this and somebody told me I smell like medicine. <laughs> but I didn't get that, y'all. But yeah, I love this fragrance. Um, it's a little earthy. Um, you have some patchouli in here, but you get a lot of fruits in here, a lot of bright fruits, tropical fruits, and it's floral, y'all. Good stuff. Love it. Cute bottle as well. Um, and the next one is one that I have been looking for as well also. And I purchased this one over in Mykonos. Okay. Um, I was like, oh my gosh, this is sitting in my cart at Selfridges as we speak. And when I saw it in Sephora, I was like, huh? In Sephora over in Mykonos? Um, that's the last place I expect to see a uh, girl on fragrance. So anyway, finally got my nose on terracotta y'all i was super super hyped and excited um to get terracotta now this is the edt that's what the box stated um the bot the bottle says terracotta le parfum this smells just like the edp to me there's a beautiful tiari flower there's coconut I think there's like ylang ylang in here like i love this i got so many compliments on this fragrance i wore it for two days Y'all, this smells like coconut, ylang ylang. I would have put this in my review that I just posted, but you know, I didn't have it at the time. I posted that review while I was over in Greece. Y'all, this is so, so good. Um, I love, love, love this fragrance, and I'm so glad that I purchased it. You know, this is on the same wave, um, in the same realm as uh, 
Tiari uh, from, what is it? Uh, from House of Siage, um, Ujuan from Fragrance Dubois, um, Terracotta by Narcisa Rodriguez, um, not Terracotta, um, forgot the name of it, but the one in the peach bottle by, or the Terracotta color bottle by Narcisa Rodriguez. Absolutely love this fragrance, head over heels for this. And I'm gonna take a sip of water, y'all. I'm so glad, even though my voice is not 100%, um, I'm so glad I'm doing this video, you know, to just get me back on track because I completely miss all of you, the engagement. You know, I miss talking to myself, okay? <laughs> no, y'all, I'm just joking. I miss talking to you all and all of the engagement. Um, I also bought some natural oils. And I don't know if you can buy these just out of the country, but I've never seen them in the country. So when I saw them over in um, Santorini, I purchased them. These are natural oils. They consist of like seven botanical oils. Um, I picked up the very first one. Oops, I hit the camera, sorry. Um, they cause they're dry textured oils. Um, they consist of seven botanical oils and they're super pure, you guys, um, with all natural ingredients. So the very first one, and I don't know how to pronounce this. I don't know if it's new or nukes or whatever it is. Uh, but these are oils. It says multi-purpose dry oils for your face, your body, and your hair. I love a good oil. I love good skin hydration. I put oil on my face, especially after washing, cleansing, and going to bed. You know, I'm trying to prevent all wrinkles. But this one right here is the Floral. You know, this one smells amazing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and spray this on my hands so you guys can see. Automizer's gorgeous. But it's, it's straight, pretty much... Um, it's good botanical oil so look at this y'all super super oily so it feels pretty dry you know and you can rub it on your skin use it as a lotion you know then actually spray your fragrance on top and it holds your fragrance y'all but beautiful beautiful oils and this one it smells so good this one's the floral there's magnolia there's grapefruit i think there's some rose in here there's some musk in here um this is the very first one that i smelled and it's really really pretty this will be great for the summer but you really get that grapefruit and the floral notes and a little musky as well uh, but that's great for the summer for you to layer with your fruity florals um, in the summertime. Um, same one, the other one. Oh, I have a Neroli one. When I sprayed this one, I smelled Centra and, uh, or my Tom Ford's uh, Neroli Portofino. That's what this one smells like. Same type of oil, same concept, but this one has a bit of neroli inside, which gives it, you can wear this with your beautiful um, citrusy neroli fragrances or fragrances with neroli inside, y'all, yeah, beautiful. The next one, um, this one, it's white florals, it's vanilla, it smells like the sun. You can wear this with like, you know, so de Jetta. You can wear this with terracotta because of the white florals and um, just the brightness of this. This one actually has a sheen inside and um, it has like a luminous on your skin. When I saw this, I thought about Ylang and Gold and putting this with Ylang and Gold would be perfect, amazing for the summer or vacation, y'all. Um, I don't know where you can order this, but check online, really good deal. And then this is the same. I got the one without the shimmer and one with the shimmer, but they both smell like um, white florals, vanilla, and like, they smell like the sun, y'all, beautiful. I think that is it. And like I said, um, so happy to be back with you all. We have two more hauls coming, separate one on Theodore Scaladinis. Um, and then we have another Greek haul, uh, Greek perfumer fragrances. I have about Manos Gerakinis. Um, I, I had so much fun saying those names over there. Theodore Scaladinis and Mano Gerakinis. <laughs> Both amazing Greek perfumers, but Mono Gerakini's fragrances, y'all. Oh my goodness. Um, Immortel, uh, Pivon, like the best uh, peony fragrance, apple peony fragrance to die for, y'all. It's amazing. The best road oud fragrance, Athens, Anthem. Um, y'all, it's amazing. But anyway, that is all for today. Have a lovely, amazing day, people. Go out to the world, spread amazing sillage. 
do good, be good, and it's so lovely to be back. And hopefully my voice gets better and better every single day uh, because that's what I'm shooting for. I am taking lots of ginger, fresh ginger, blended. I just drink it, y'all. Um, lots of vitamins, vitamin C, all of that. But I still got sick, okay? Whatever this is, it's going around. Take care of yourself. Boost up on your vitamins. Do what you can. No stress. Be healthy. All of that. Love you all. Have an amazing day. Go on to the world. Spread amazing siash. Do good. Be good. And, you know, be looking out for my other uh, my other two hauls reviews. Love you all. Bye-bye. Happy to be back. Mwah.